Most people who consider suicide don't really want to die. They feel helpless, they feel hopeless, they feel worthless. Oftentimes they have problems they don't think they can solve, they don't think anyone else understands, and they see suicide as the only way out. If you suspect that someone may be suffering um, in silence, that they may be dealing with suicidal thoughts, it's important to say something because by starting that conversation, that allows that person to really open up and start to share what they've been carrying with them. While no one can predict suicide, there are risk factors that have been shown to increase the risk of someone being a victim of suicide. Some important static risk factors include, most importantly, prior suicide attempts. There are about 25 suicide attempts for each completed suicide nationwide. A second, we know that men are generally at higher risk for suicide than women. Someone who is going through depression, someone who's had a recent loss, and someone who's experiencing anxiety, who's suffering with substance use disorder, is at higher risk for suicide. Being a survivor of somebody that died by suicide can be one of the most difficult experiences somebody will have to go through in their entire life. And for that family member to realize that one, it really is not your fault. Unfortunately, for things like this, there's, there's nothing that that family member could have done. And to also realize that whatever emotions they are feeling, it's okay. There's gonna be anger, there's gonna be grief, there's gonna be relief, and that any one of those emotions is okay. What we're hoping to do is give them some hope, to let them know that people care, we want to start the conversation, we want to help to bust the stigma, so that people begin talking about suicide because that's the only way that we're going to put an end to it.